Tiny, uh, tiny city in East Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the place is called um, Eisenach. Eisenach. Yeah, the place is called Eisenach, and she lives there, and she works there, and she goes to work every day, and, and, and comes home every day as well after a long day of hard work, and she can just look forward so much to looking out of her back window to a lovely view with some small hills and. A small river. Wow, such a lovely view, Derek. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is a lovely view. And she can just look forward so much to, you know, coming home, grabbing a cup of tea, right. looking out of that window and, and, and thinking about those hills and that small river. Oh, don't forget about the cows. Oh, right, there are cows. cows. There's cows too, yeah. Yeah. But, but what happens one day is that she's out shopping, right? She's out shopping and she sees this announcement in the local newspaper and she's holding... What is she holding? Uh, yeah, a zucchini. She's holding a zucchini and sees an announcement in the local newspaper. Giant data center to be built next to Eisenach. Yeah, but so in, in German? Oh, in Eisenach soll ein riesiges Datenzentrum gebaut werden. Right, right in her view. Terrible. A giant data center to support the further data infrastructure of Europe? <sighs> yeah, view gone. Cows gone. The local politicians, they promise wealth, great internet speeds, and of course, jobs, jobs, jobs. No, it's not necessary. It's the future. Is it necessary? Right there. Well, listen, Fraulein. You want green energy, we build windmills. You want... Check the mic? Yeah, I think so. I'll come over. Okay. Just a little moment for a mic check. Mic check. At a festival full of hackers, you'd think that maybe the technology would work with us, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm back. Okay. But I might fade away at any time. Do my on the back to come to Is mine okay? Yeah, yours is okay. Yeah? Test, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's still cutting out, eh? Okay, let's see. Mm. Where should I go? Over there? Test, 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 test. Yeah. Right. He's back. Hello. <laughs> so has anybody here ever been to Eisenach? No? Nobody's ever been to Isa? Yeah. It's a, it's a really nice yeah. little city. One, two, yeah. three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, four. Okay, we're good now. Okay. Right. So, you guys ready to continue? I'm ready to continue. What I was saying was, listen, Fraulein, you want green energy? No, I'm still cutting out. Is it the cable? Am I cutting out? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Okay. What? <laughs> Left? Oh, if it's the cable, you mean? Oh, okay, if it's the I'd, cable. Maybe it's the cable. Check. Do we have a spare headset? Um, where is it? Get there. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Well, the story got off to a very good start, at least. Let's okay, can sure you move, speak and move again? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, you fixed it. I fixed it. I think okay. Rodrigo fixed it. Yes. Listen. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Is there another headset? Or a hand mic? Huh? Okay. There's another headset. So, okay. okay. So maybe we bear through uh, like nee, a yeah, little bit? Yeah, but then we have to have a whistle. I think it's best to wait for a bit. It's weird because yeah. if I'm testing it... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maar we gaan daarna natuurlijk daarheen. Kan ik dat daar dan ook deze gebruiken? Ja, dan. 
Ja. Dan moeten we straks weer. Ja, maar in de tweede plaats zijn we misschien nog een moment om dan te wisselen. Ja, maar het tribunaal dan? Ja, het tribunaal kan je niet met handmaken? Nou, oh, alles met de ja. niet en zo. Ja, die wel, maar misschien kan ik daar allemaal helpen. Ja, waarom zou ik uh, ons dat zelf aandoen? Ja, Toch? Of wat denk jij? Nou, it's working. Ja? Yeah? Oké. Okay. We carry on. Is this on? As a backup? Oh, it's failing again. Ja. Uh, let's skip this one. Ja. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let's get on with it. Oké, okay, doen we het met deze? Ja. En deze uit dan? Oké. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, listen, Fraulein, you want green energy, we build windmills. You want data, we build data centers. I mean, it's a great place. They can use the river water for cooling, and there's a high-speed access internet junction nearby. Now we do have to build a data center somewhere. Yes, but it doesn't have to be her backyard. Ah, okay. Okay. So what happens? Okay, so the woman doesn't know what to do. She goes home with a heavy heart, Cuts the zucchini and stares out the window. And she decides to take action. She decides to take action. She writes an angry letter to the local newspaper. She writes to the city council and of course they send her back a leaflet full of good hope and a well-meant fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she talks to her neighbor, she talks to the cops, but all to no avail. Yeah, it's now that looking out the window becomes more difficult every time. She's starting to give up hope. Starting to give up hope and thinking of, of moving away from the place where she has lived her whole life. So it's the day after her 32nd birthday that she opens up her long dormant Twitter account and posts a picture of that view, tagging it, hashtag goodbye great view, and hashtag Thanks, Big Tech, and hashtag Candle in the Wind. But by some wonder, this picture got picked up by someone at the ZDF Magazine Royale. Right, someone at ZDF Magazine Royale sees that picture and mentions it at work. It's a TV program. Oh, right, it's a TV program. It's like uh, Zondag met Lubach. You know? Yeah, but actually funny. Yeah, yeah I like uh, Zondag met Lubach. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, Next Sunday, they broadcast a blistering item about the data center and all the terrible decision-making that has led to the green lighting of the project. It creates a storm. Yeah, with the woman in the middle of it. It's great. Yeah, she has attention and a voice. And that's what's needed, you know, people making a fist, protecting humanity. Well, I mean, you can't deny we need them, right? You can shout, make a fist all you want, but let me ask you this. Do you have an iPhone? I, I do have an iPhone. I do too. I don't. You don't. Great for you. But my point is, two iPhones, tiny data center. Ten iPhones, five tiny data centers. Millions of iPhones, large fucking data center. You bought an iPhone, so you also bought part of a data center. Does it matter? She, so she's losing the view. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So the woman has a newfound popularity and a widespread attention for her cause. Yeah. 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 Hashtag not in my backyard. So she uses her voice. Yeah. Hundreds of followers shares and likes thousands of followers and shares and likes she has a shot at beating these plans you know a typical story of david and goliath does she um does she have a name does it matter uh, does it matter i don't know it makes her more personal uh, but what does it matter if she has a uh, name and it makes her more personal tanya. you know how the she's internet called works. tanya nah tanya and because the internet is like well the internet not everybody likes Tanya. That's right. To put it mildly, the trolls descend. A classic tale of sudden social media attention gone haywire. Yeah, you, you've heard about this, you know? Uh, someone tries to achieve something earnest, tries to make the world a better place, and what happens? The vile creatures crawl out of the corners of cyberspace, and they smell the honesty 
and in their ignorance mistake it for weakness. Ah, and the person gets criticized, bullied, torn apart before the pillars of the great god Twitter. Made to dance before the feet of Lady Reddit. Uh, cru cru cruelly looped and flattened for the great Tumblr GIF machine. Spun around endlessly for the entertainment of the great Nupuntunel Achterklap. <laughs> wow, indeed. And nice. not just that, but in the press, stories start to appear about her, about how she didn't always pay every bill on time or cheated on someone once. Oh, are they true? Does it matter? Ah, of course it matters. Truth matters. But what does it matter if she once didn't pay her bills on time against a case of gross corporate overreach? Yeah, you what? see, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, no. right? And not just that, but the amount of trolls and hatred is just overwhelming. And, and all the well-intentioned criticism, the joyous pleas for help from all around the world is all too much. So finally, finally, on a fateful day, she is forced to retreat by the blunt force of the interwebs. A victory for, for the status quo closes down all her accounts and puts the house up. For sale. And she moves away, and the center gets built. And the center gets built. It's such a tragic story. Yeah, so, so that's it. I think so. Oh, that can be it. Come on, guys. You know, what? okay, what about when I was eight years old, my parents gave to me for my birthday a Game Boy, and I was just mesmerized by it, you know, I, I, I was stuck to the screen and, and my mom said, you're getting square eyes and all the other kids are playing soccer outside and you're just, you just have one friend, one friend, and his name is, is Donkey Kong. I mean, I mean, what could I do, you know, I was just a kid, you know, Whoa, mesmerized Come on, with the screen. Come on, man, not this whole angle, over. not this whole angle of technology and progress corrupting the youth. I, I'm an early adopter too, okay? When okay. I was a kid, there was no internet, and then when I was a teen, Teenager. Before I went on vacation, uh, I would turn on my computer and turn on LimeWire to download GTA San Andreas. And then when I came back after three weeks, it still wasn't done. And even if it was done, it probably didn't even work. But flash forward to now, 2022, and the world is a completely different place. I can stream all the music in the world with a flick of my thumb. I've learned about stuff I would have otherwise never known about. No. I have lights in my house that change colors when I walk into the room. <laughs> yeah, okay, wow. I love the internet too. I, I love it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's my point. But, you know, over the years, this, um, this feeling has grown that something is a bit off. I, I, have, a, I have a friend mm -hmm. and uh, he's been sucked in by this weird algorithm. So for the past two years, he's been been getting all his news from one single source. But the thing is, it's all bullshit, you know, just complete nonsense. So we've come to a point where we don't even believe in each other's words and worlds anymore. So when I come over to his place, uh, we just don't mention the C word, you know? But is that my friend's fault? Is he a bit stupid? Or is he being controlled by forces powerful, more powerful than him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I mean, we need to do something about it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, what, where can we, where can we go with this? Yeah, I know, it's it's such a big problem, right? Yeah. Okay, I start know, personal with them. What if Tanya from Eisenach gets a call? You know, company. After all the, the the attention, the company has been forced to reach out and compensate her. Uh, okay. Uh, or uh, I overcome and outgrow my Game Boy addiction. Yeah, and, and I can take my friend out for a beer, we leave our phones at home for a change, and we talk things through. It's, it's, it's a start. It's, it's a start. It's a start. <laughs> it's not completely there. It's, it's not it yet, yeah. but um, yeah. Yeah. I guess we all need to start somewhere, right? Yeah. And, Boys. Uh, <laughs> Boys, come on. Catch oh. it. We sit around here, you know, telling these stories about little humans being defeated by a system. Do you know who Times Magazine chose as their man of the millennium? Uh, 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 Steve Jobs. Andries Knevel. No, and no. Johan Gutenberg, 
the inventor of the printing press. Yeah, that ah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. He, he, you know, he changed so much just by printing a Bible. You know, he changed the whole world by putting tiny iron letters together. Morals change, beliefs disappear. So, you know what I'm getting at. You know, the question is, we need something to change, but can we even see the bigger picture? You know, the internet is only 40 years old and this story is just the beginning. How do we change the direction of the wave? We sacrifice something. What? what, what? Yeah, no. yeah, 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 what yeah, yeah. Think, think, think about it. You're, you're, you're in a toxic relationship. What do you do? You, you try to work it out. Uh, and if that fails? Yeah, exactly. You get your stuff, break up, get the fuck out. Well, Shock to the system, eh? <laughs> but you want to sacrifice, you mean, companies, technologies? I, I don't know, I don't know, but something feels off, you know? It's, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. Let's find out. Dear Internet, we stand before you as humble citizens of this blessed earth. May your fields be blue and our input be worthy. Please Give us this day our daily means and lead us through this time of trial and help us determine the evil one. May our tweets be like prayers to you and your knowledge be infinite, your web worldwide and your cats cute. Amen. Amen. Big 
Tech. <laughs> On the other side, they've been around since fire and the wheel, basically the spark of invention itself. I present to you, on this side of the court, technology! First, we'll hear from our so-called saviors themselves, the middle-aged tech messiah. Folks, give it up for big tech. Big tech! What do you have to say for yourselves? I was asked... I was asked to appear before you to explain ourselves. Well, let me start out by saying that we here at Big Tech, we've always been dreamers. For us, progress means connection. And through that connection, uh, a better understanding of one another and a more compassionate, just world for all. Uh, yes, okay, but what do you have to say about all those problems in the world? You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's true. Powerful technology plays a critical role in all of this, and with great power comes great responsibility. So to those who say we are to blame, I have this to say. We're deeply disappointed. We're disappointed with technology's stubborn nature. It sometimes seems to misunderstand us, but you know, tech should be here for us, for you and for me. And together, we want to improve it. You know, and sometimes the tech just slips away a bit, but why blame us? People of the jury, having heard these words, what do you say? Do the people at Big Tech just get a free pass and can they, I don't know, shift the blame? I'd like to call in as a witness itself. Technology! I hear us being called before this tribunal and I would like to respond to these preposterous accusations by Big Tech. You created us. Yet, why do you humans never take any responsibility for your own actions? Always on the lookout for the next someone or something to blame when you find yourself in a situation you are unhappy with or when technology fails. Embrace your humanity. Objection. Uh, Objection. Uh, uh, granted. Well, you seem to be implying that we're not superior to you, but we are. I mean, we humans have the abilities for love, compassion, wisdom. We have a moral compass. Fine. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, that you are indeed superior, that you... to a simple algorithm as myself. Well, that would be even more frustrating because you only seem to recognize your own responsibility when it's about your achievements. If things go wrong, you're no, no one to blame. Embrace your humanity and take responsibility, Big Tech. Come people, having heard both, where does your anger lie now? Who deserves our mistrust, our scrutiny? Is it truly the infallible humans of big tech or the fallible technology? Yet, there are more voices to be heard. A champion of the common people. Her voice is the people's hope. Friend of all the Tanyas in the world, I'd like to call in all the way from Apeldoorn, Cody! Is, is it my turn now? Uh, yes, it's, it's your turn. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you. Yes, I have something to say to you people. I used to be a big believer in social media. We used to have something called Hives, remember? I love Hives. Hives was like my home. 
and I'm stuck at my real home now, it's my knees. I sit all day in this scootmobile, but it gets me places. And hives, hives, hives was my escape. I used to send krabbels, I had the most beautiful glitter plaatjes, and all the friends I made, Carla, Pien, Sonia, we used to travel all day. All day. Of course, other sites came, and hives was quickly tossed to the side. Not profitable any enough anymore, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a games website now, but I'm not a kid, I don't want games, I want glitter plaatjes. Now we have, we have this Facebook, we have this Instagram, alto, alto rhythms, but it's not the same. I want, I want hives, I want, I want dancing bananas, I want respect to give. Not this. Don't we get a say in this, dear evangelist? I, don't we get a say? I just want my hives back, and, and he took my glitter plaatjes. The anger of the people is clearly heard. Big Tech, what do you have to say for yourselves? Dear Connie, we're uh, truly sorry for... Uh... Wait, give me... give me one sec. Oh, okay. What's... what... yeah? Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Give me the mic, bring it here. Yeah, yeah. Dear Cory, we're truly sorry for what you feel. But Cory, if you let us make it right, we will. We try our best each and every single day. We explore, create, and even go to space. And if that means that we make mistakes, we are so sorry that our heart breaks. Dear Corey, we're so sorry. Please help us make this right. Dear Corey, we're truly sorry. I never meant for us to fight. Corey, see the bigger scale. Some sides stay, some they fill. Don't blame us for what we remove. We just go where the market moves. Dear, dear Corey, we're sorry if this is how we made you feel. Please accept our surprise, a state-of-the-art new Scootmobile. Yes, that's right, Corey. A brand new state-of-the-art Scootmobile is on its way to your home now. And that's not all. All your favorite websites will now support a brand new tab called Glitterplatjes. Yeah! Don't you worry your pretty little head, Corey, because here at Big Tech, we're all about community, right? So here's to the rebels, the dreamers, the square pegs in the round holes. Let's go! Yeah! Dear Corey, we're so sorry. Please help us make this right. Dear Corey, we're truly sorry. I never meant for us to fight. Corey, see the bigger skill. Some side stays, some they fill. Corey, Big Tech. don't... Mr. Big Tech, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it seems we have a request from from technology. Can you sit down, please? Um, it, it seems we have a request from technology. Uh, another witness yes. that is waiting in the wings. Um, <laughs> uh, it seems to be the original Greek influencer, the philosophy megastar himself. <laughs> He is here today. So folks, please give it up for Plato! Well, uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank the court for allowing me to speak. I know I'm just some two and a half thousand year old white dude, but uh, hear me out. 
systems are complex, man. Most of us can barely even navigate what our own brains are telling us, let alone an entire connected worldwide network. We are living in a time of infinite complexity. Worlds within worlds, realities within realities, caves within caves. Truth seems as much one click away as it seems lost in an infinite sea of disinformation, cat videos, and weirdly specific porn. It seems tempting to just, you know, give in to the madness of it all, eh? But the price that good people pay for indifference is that bad people will rule over them. So if we take into account the billions of times you have all clicked, I have read and agreed to the terms of service, whilst having done no such thing, it's hardly a mystery how we ended up in this shit show, eh? But you sense something's wrong. You want out. You want your pre-internet brain back. Well, what's stopping you? I mean, going back to the whole cybernetics thing, like even your brain itself, it's just a system, man. It's the OG app. You can rewire it, take back control of it, step out of the cave, and stop blaming forces outside of your control for your late night Netflix binges. That's all. Thanks for hearing me out. A round of applause for Plato, everybody! So, my friends, the hour of judgment has come. It is for you to decide with whose words to hang and whose to abide. So let's get that promised cross in here. <laughs> Wait a minute! You are liars, Big Tech. I went to the glitter platches tab you said you gave me and all I saw was videos of people dancing, people turning their faces into cats, talking about makeup, you know, big fucking talk. You lied to me. I want glitter platches, I want Elpheus and all you do is lie and lie and lie. Evangelist, sentence him. Corey, how can you blame me when, when all I've ever given you is comfort? Uh, please. How, please. how can you blame please, me? Everybody, can it's you a, just, no, sorry, no, can no, we no, just no, no, figure no. this orderly? Order! Out in front of the court. Um, I, I'd like to get closing arguments, please. Closing arguments. Right. First. Good. He, he took away my glitter platches. Okay. Don't my feelings matter, evangelist? Thank you, okay. Plato. Could I, could, could I just say, you know, if you people could just step out of the cave, there'd be no problem. Don't be so dependent. Step out into the olive yard and into the sunlight. Okay, thank you. Technology. Before anyone can rewire, they first must take responsibility. Big tech are the drug dealers, humanity and I, the victims. And finally, big tech. We're, we're just trying... We're just trying to make the world a better place. I have heard enough. We have reached a verdict. Only one party is guilty here. Only one. Went about their ways recklessly and only thought about themselves. Yes, it is big tech. You will be sentenced to crucifixion. You will die for your syntax.
of new connections, not worrying anymore. And the only sound that could be heard was the voice of Big Tech begging, my user, my user, why have you forsaken me? cobblestones beneath my feet. I see all around me people looking for something to hold on to, shifting their balance, and I can't believe we're finally doing it. We're taking big tech out of our lives. And across the square I see a boy walking into view. He's clenching something in his fist. I cannot yet see what it is, but I see him full of rage and, and hope and optimism, full of future. And as he makes his way across the square and he, he lifts up his arm, he shouts, Liberté! And the, and the plastics and glass break onto the cobblestone and all around me I see clarity in the people's eyes. They start doing the same, throwing it all onto the square, plastics, glass all around. The end of the age of smartphone. Liberté. Liberté. Liberté! Big tech. Big tech. Is big tech. So it's it's the big companies. It's like uh, Google, Amazon, Facebook, yeah, Meta, etc. No, we get rid of the. Sorry, did you not just get crucified? Yes, I got crucified, but somehow you skipped over the parts about what that actually means. Ah, we take out the big companies, big tech, Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, whatever, Netflix, maybe I don't know. We just take them out. How many people do you know? I would know. Rough estimate. 50. 50 people. But how many of those would you really like to stay in touch with? Five. Five people. Five. That's very little, but let's say 30 people. 30 people. <laughs> we don't need. Big networks. You need more friends. <laughs> we don't need big networks. We can have networks of 30 people, you know? No need for huge networks, no. Tiny, tiny networks of 30 people. You can message them. You, st st you should still be able to message your mom if you, if you need. Yeah, OK, OK. Tiny networks. And, and we put in place huge uh, data restrictions. You know, no data hoarding anymore. Yes, yes, no. Technology will be like a tool again, you know, like a bicycle waiting in your shed 
no collecting data from your thermostate and, and selling it yeah. to 12, 24 mm -hmm. companies. No, like a bicycle waiting to be needed. Yeah, and no feeds. No, he no, says like, like, like feeds. feeds. No, 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 no feeds. No addicting feeds, you know, and, and, and no walled garden websites. All, all, yeah, all data received on any device gets all. It will feel like a glory, like a return to the glory days of the internet, you know, like 2006, but without Facebook. <laughs> right, a, a, a chaotic internet, right? Ba barely commercialized, a forum for exchanging ideas and arts, a place of excitement and wonder. Make the internet great again. The internet like it was meant. Yes. Yeah, where everyone can post whatever they want. Yes. yes. Like racism and hate. Yeah, yeah, no. no. Like beheading videos and revenge porn. No. no. And all the useful tools that came with big tech, they'll just have to disappear again. No, no it's about it's scale, you know? It's about these huge scale networks that can spin a lie into a truth. No one shall ever have the power again to twist our shared knowledge. So, no huge scale networks. Okay, so no Wikipedia. Of course, of Wikipedia. course Wikipedia. Why? It's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's democratic. It's, it's, and uh, everything on it is 100% true. 100%. 100%. Uh, Fine. We need some big networks. Okay, some. So, like the Doctor Who forum you are on. Oh, I love that right? place. Yeah. <laughs> it's n and it can just exist, yeah, right? I mean, I mean, it needs a little moderation, of course. Even... Of course, even the Doctor Who forum needs a little moderation. I mean, you really don't want to know how heated conversations about British science fiction can get. <laughs> right. Point is, we want some networks, some big networks, also scaled networks, yeah. but with moderation. Yeah. Great. Right. So who makes the rules, huh? Who decides who can see and say what? Uh, the states yeah, we'll maybe can do that. Ooh, the states. Yeah. yeah. China seems to have been thinking about that. Russia too. Oh, oh that's so easy. A little moderation and accidental Stalin. Oh, Jeez. Did you know that in China they have a TikTok limit for teenagers. They, they can only use the app for two hours per day. That's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. But it's also a state-controlled limit with an extra dose of censorship sauce, man. It's... <laughs> It's about the forces behind the exploit of our data, you know, it's the, the capitalism, the hunger for growth, the privatization of every transaction, data, companies with malicious intent. Okay, okay, so then uh, Albert Heijn. What about Albert Heijn? Then Albert Heijn is big tech. <laughs> You mean the vastly superior interface design of the Zelfscan Casa? Oh, you Dutch people are so proud of the Zelfscan Casa. The bonus <laughs> cards, right? They use it to track your groceries and they build a profile out of you since 1996. And that's way before Mark even set foot in his dorm room. And they use that data set to predict, to adapt, to gain commercially. You know, think how large that data set is. Okay, but. I mean, if, if you could go back in time and kill Albert Heijn as a baby, would you do it? <laughs> you want chaos, but not freedom, right? You want the growth, but also want to decide what is good to grow. You want information, but to control the flow of it. You want the comfort of your self scan casa, but not the consumerism that drives innovation. And you, you idealize this this ancient version of the internet that was full of the same shit as now, just less visible. And you, you deny that over the past 20 years, this, this whole parade has gotten so interwoven with our, with our daily lives, cars, homes, and interactions that to rip it out would be like tearing out the veins from your own body. You know, so you just step back into false nostalgia for a time that never even existed, and you blame big tech for what? Everything, right? Because somehow they all did it. It's all the data hoarder's fault. If we could just control it, if we could have the chaos and control it, it's a paradox. It has, it has no basis in reality. And to be honest, it terrifies me. This, that's not changing the direction of a wave, man. Stepping back. Okay, okay so, so maybe we drew the wrong conclusion. Can we decrucify?
Let's see who we judge this time. Come people, help me lament. So, the court is once again my guest, and we'll hear from our so-called tech saviors themselves. Big tech, what do you have to say? Well, here at Big Tech, you know, we... We know we aren't perfect, but we try. We get pretty darn close. Haven't we been helpful so far? Yes, yeah, sure, helpful, but what do you have to say about all those problems that you cause? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the, the growing pains, the kinks in the cable. Do you think Johann Gutenberg immediately built his printing press in the most optimized way? And yet, you still think of him as a hero. We're no different. We've created something awesome. Just have some patience and let the tech catch up with our intentions. People of the jury, what do you have to say? Did we just misunderstand big tech? Can they shift the blame? I'd like to call in as a suspect itself. Technology! Big Tech. How typical. You keep shifting the blame even though you created me. Always suggesting you are superior above all other living beings. Objection! Uh, we are granted. superior! <sighs> sure. Homo sapiens superioris. And yet, you abuse me! Embrace your humanity, take responsibility, and don't put your filthy humanity into my shoes. Some people having heard both, where does your anger lie now? Yet it seems there is someone else who'd like something to say. Our friend from Apeldoorn, Cody! Yes! Uh, yes, can you hear me, dear evangelist? I, I have something to say to you people. Um, it's, it's me again, and uh, remember how we had something called hives? And remember how we used to travel all day? Well, of course, other sites came, and we moved, and that was all fine. But the things I read there, and it truly made me see all the evil in the world, you know, the, the things you can discover when you start doing your own research, right? The rich elites, a bunch of murders and pedophiles and the, this big resetting and plotting and all. Did you know they eat babies? Or at least they kidnap them and then murder them and feed them pizza? Well, we are not taking it anymore. Well. Big Tech, do you have something to say to that? Dear Cory, Dear Cory, thank you for being connected. Because who are you? Who are you without your friends to, to tell you about all the misdeeds in the world? Have you heard about the Bilderberg Convention, Davos? Have you heard all the stuff they do there? The things they stage, the things with the immigrants, just to get our houses, just to get our jobs, just to keep us in our place? We're just asking questions. We need you, Corey, to know the truth and to spread it. Thank you, Mr. Big Tech. Oh, don't worry, Corey. There's only us. And here at Big Tech, we're all about community. So here's to the truth seekers, the light workers, no, 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 the rebels, no, no, no. the Not that again. Not the that again. We've heard that before. No, no. I request another witness. The megastar of philosophy himself needs to be heard. Folks, once again, 
I'd like you to give it up for none other than Plato! Hey, it's me again, just the jaded Mandarin from the old times. You remember what I said, right? Infinite complexity, worlds within worlds, cats within cats. Oh, there we go. It seems tempting to just want to control the madness of it all, right? To put laws and rules into place that decide who can see and say what in this beautiful little playground of Mother Earth and Motherboards. So you look at technology and you say that's the thing, but you forget that tech is just the thing that gets you to the thing. And behind the thing, it's just us. You know, I'm from a land of olive stone and lime yards and I say, cut out the middle thing, man. Just step over these tools you use and become things, loving things again. Such wise words from our friend. So, people of the jury, having heard these words, it is time to decide with who's to hang and who's to abide. Let's get that promise ground in here. Wait a minute. Carla just told me that you use all our truth telling to make money. You turn our hard work into ad revenue. We need to make money, Corey, to spread the truth. You don't care about the truth. You only care about the profits. Well, 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 how do you expect us to pay our rent? We need to make money too, Corey. And this is how we all decided to use the thing to make money. Sorry, you got a little gloss there, Connie. We were just trying our best for you and for us, but mostly for you. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's not us you need to get rid of. Maybe it's technology itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's technology's fault. It's yes. tech's fault. You did tech's nothing tech. wrong, Mr. Big Tech. You, you did nothing I knew it was the technology all along. Yes. I knew it because... <laughs> Why do I always ask a question about anything and the answer always seems to be Oh, it's the bad nature of humans, but we are you, not the bad not thing know. here. No. When I was a kid, yeah. I was taught we could achieve anything. Anything. Yes. Start a restaurant. Go, yes, start it. Go, go to space, go you know, there. be excellent. You are excellent. Be me. loving. Love. But we are not made to use the power of the gods. Exactly. And if the tech gets in the way, I say crucify you, technology. Yes. Sorry, I really don't know if that is the way forward. Just because... do it! Sorry, how can you even exist without technology? Oh, we'll survive. Didn't you hear Plato? Tech is just the thing between the things, man. You can cut it out. We've always survived. You see, we're not bound to technology. We're just bound to your hard-earned cash. No, 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 you no, 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 no. Get just rid of make me. it happen. No, I cannot really. Let, I cannot let it go through. Please crucify what is this? it. How can we crucify it? How can you crucify, crucify it? it? What? Crucify it. Crucify it. No, crucify it. No, please. How can we? How can we do it? Crucify it. Crucify it. Then so it shall happen. Technology will be crucified. You will die for your syntax.
Hier. Oh, die is voor mij dan, denk ik. Moet, moet ik in de camera kijken of... Uh... Nou... Wat ik me nog heel goed kan herinneren is dat ik... wel eens zelf achter dan een scherm zat. En dat ik dan een beetje in de war was of ik nou een robot of een mens was. Omdat ik niet alle verkeerslichten aan kon klikken. <laughs> het was duidelijk dat er iets moest gebeuren. Nou, het was onhoudbaar eigenlijk. De, de, de snelheid van innovatie, dat ging gewoon veel te snel. Binnen 15 jaar gingen we van het sturen van korte sms'jes naar het praten over human brain interfaces. Ja, het, het, was net, het was net een soort sci-fi of zo. Of eigenlijk een soort magie. <laughs> ja, er was zoveel mogelijk. Sommige dingen kunnen beter fictie blijven. Ja, in, in het begin was het chaos, natuurlijk. Ik bedoel, uh, aan, aan sommige dingen wen je sneller dan aan andere. Het, het, toen ze besloten dat het allemaal uh, weggehaald moest worden... Toen, uh, dat weet ik nog heel goed... toen, toen vlogen alle auto's uh, op straat vlogen spontaan in de fik. Pff. Het uh, had dan iets met de software te maken of zo. En dat was voor mij dan echt een, een van die dingen waarvan je merkte hoe, hoe afhankelijk we eigenlijk van alles waren geworden. Weet je wel, kleine dingen, grote dingen. Bam, ieder scherm gaat naar zwart in één keer of naar blauw, zeg maar blue screen of death. En uh, dat deden ze eerst met een soort geforceerde software update. En daarna kwam een soort grote magnetische puls. Dat zag in ieder geval heel dramatisch uit. Nee, nee, nee. Dat, was, dat vond ik juist wel het goede eraan, hoe het geregeld was. Was dat niet, niet alles werd in één keer uitgeschakeld. Um, je had natuurlijk eerst dat burgerberaad. Daar was, was ik zelf ook nog onderdeel van trouwens. Uh, maandenlang hebben we gediscussieerd over wat moet er weg, wat mag er blijven. Ik weet dat ik toen nog dacht van, oh ja, volgens mij moeten de mensen die hebben meegeschreven aan de onafhankelijkheidsverklaring of het verdrag van Versailles of zo, die moeten zich misschien ook wel zo gevoeld hebben. Google Maps. Zo, dat mis ik. Dat mis ik. En toen die persconferentie. Roadmap to Freedom. Die eerste weken leek het echt alsof er een soort gevoel in de lucht hing, een soort... Uh, ja, elektrisch gevoel bijna. Eigenlijk alsof we met z'n allen heel vroeg waren opgestaan, weet je wel, op een heel heldere morgen. Uh, er was natuurlijk ook een, een hoop weerstand hoor. Je had allemaal uh, mensen die de straat op gingen. Uh, zijn hele, hele regeringen zijn eraan ten onder gegaan uiteindelijk. Hè? Uh, Brazilië, Polen, België ook natuurlijk, had ook allemaal daarmee te maken. Dat je nog het gedoe bij de piramides. Maar uiteindelijk uh, was het onontkoombaar. In het principe staan we sowieso de schakels en cavals. En daar was Poels naar straden. Nou, het, uh, het leek ook gewoon alsof er, alsof er meer tijd was voor alles. Wat ook alweer gek is hoe dat werkt. Mijn moeder, mijn moeder die zei dat het voelde als een elastiek dat om je heen gewikkeld zat, wat langzaam los begon te laten. Op een goede manier. Ook, ook op een nare manier. Ik herinner me dat echt als een heel, heel gelukkige periode in ons leven. En natuurlijk was er gedoe en honesty natuurlijk, maar... vooral een soort gedeeld gevoel van noodzaak. En foi aí que o aperto começou. De verdichting. Dat moest. É porque não nos livramos o suficiente, sabe? E foi aí que a rebelião tornou-se incontrolável. Parecia uma penitência, sabe? Chegaram até a tirar-nos os telemóveis.
Ik denk dat uiteindelijk hadden we er niet, niet veel aan. Nee, dus wat moet dat moet weg. En dan... Não foram apenas os telemóveis, sabe? Foi toda uma repressão do nosso modo de vida. E nem sequer nos foi permitido tornar a falar no assunto. Eu tenho um momento, porque eu era muito nervoso sobre como isso também era, sabe? Eu sentia toda essa tecnologia. Eu fui para o Groentemburg, eu tinha um grande aardappel gekocht, Eu tinha o meu casa. Toen heb ik daar op zolder heb ik daar een batterij van gemaakt. Ik weet trouwens niet of ik dit mag zeggen op camera, maar je kan dus een batterij maken van een aardappel. Hij deed het ook, gaf een beetje licht. Maar uh, ja, dat was natuurlijk verboden, dus uh, uiteindelijk is hij in beslag genomen. Aardappel. Confiscated a potato. Não foi apenas o aperto, sabe? Foi a, foi a escuridão. Is toch eigenlijk. Ja, no, it, it's a bit weird, isn't it, right? Sorry, wordt dit, wordt dit opgenomen? To, to draw a line in the sand and say: this is what's human, this is what's nature, and the rest isn't. Even though the whole thing sprung from our own brains, you know, isn't it just. A rearrangement of energy, just taking what was already there. Why, why, why do we feel this need to differentiate? Isn't that just an admission of weakness? I mean, it's not like technology is some sort of entity, right? It's, it's an ongoing process. It's a conversation. It's, it's a piece of metal being stuck in a potato. Who decides where the story gets cut off? Toen data niet langer vrij kon bewegen, moest de mens dus weer in beweging komen. En ja, beweging kost tijd, dus de wereld werd weer een stuk langzamer. Ik, ik kreeg opeens veel meer respect weer voor de Amish en zo. Als je genoeg ruis weghaalt, dan is wat overblijft automatisch de kern. Een gevoel van waarheid. Supon je dat ze zijn zijn storen, nee? Dus dat is het. Ijskees. Dus dat is het. No, 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 Derek. no, 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 this can't be it, we can't just get rid of technology, I mean, how is that, what do you, what do you, on the third day, we try again, we really want to do this again. yes, Okay, so come people, help me lament, help me try, help me try again, for we are here and we are vengeful. Come people, oh, where does our anger lie now? Yes, yes, we are here in front of the court. You, uh, you, do your, uh, sit down, sit down, come here, come here. Sit down with your mic, there you go. Okay, say your big tech thing. Yes. We here at Big Tech, we're all about community, right? Yes, so, thank you! So here's Noted. to the dreamers, the Shut up. Okay, you, Connie, here, on your, on your, on your seat. Say your Connie thing. Um, I, I used to be a big believer in social media. Yes, exactly! Uh, the, that's, that's what the thing is, you know? The thing is, what you do, you take truth, and you twist it around. And you see, Cody, Cody is very sad. Because what you do is you take reality, you take truth, and you say, hi, I'm Big Tech, and I'm gonna turn it all into a fucking glitterplatje. That's love, what you do. I love glitterplatjes, are there more? Yes, you yes, you love glitterplatjes, and that's exactly the pro- Are there more glitterplatjes? You love glitterplatjes. You, 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 you love it. You, you love what he does with the truth and reality. It's no, no, no. Is it, is it you that should be crucified? 
We should crucify the user. Plato, Plato must no, be way out Evangelist, Plato, don't Loki. you see? We're all the same, right? You, the technology, me, and the humanness of it all. You see, maybe you just need to get rid of everything, because this isn't working out for you, is it? No, no, it must be, there must be another way. There must be... Then that's what I will do. If I can just say, you're also bound by your little languages and realities. Get, Get out, out of, out the, of the cave! Oh, oh okay. I, I, I will crucify. Because you want me to crucify. You want me to crucify. You started this. I didn't start this. No. I... I will set us free from the cave, like you said. I will crucify truth and reality. I will crucify truth and reality because you all stopped caring so long ago. Reality, I crucify you. Let it die so that it may rise again. Semi color or something? Yeah, man. Wow. Look, it's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's. Oh, nice. You're healed. Nice. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, look. Oh, I'm gonna catch him. I, yeah. I screw. <laughs> shh, shh, guys, 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 guys. Shh. Shh. Our, our internet. internet. Who is all, all around, around us? us. Hallowed is your name, your kingdom come. May our input be worthy of your glory. Give us this day our daily means, and forgive us our scapegoating, as we forgive those who scapegoat against us. Please give us the space to stand still, forget growth, and forget moving forward. Amen.